I recently showed you how to install TWRP on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 as the custom recovery. And once you have that installed, it opens up a plethora of different mods, especially for Majisk modules that you can install on your device. Now I will always recommend that you create a full backup through TWRP so that you can do a restore just in case something goes wrong. However, a lot of people do not do that. Some people forget. I've forgot a ton of times even just going through the process of in trying to figure out ways to install TWRP on the Galaxy Note 9 without using Majisk caused my device to go into a boot loop multiple times. This boot loop is often referred to as a bricked device or a soft bricked device. So today I want to show you how to unbrick the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 using Odin and a fresh download of the firmware that goes with your specific de device. So before we, we can begin with the unbrick process, you're going to need to have some stuff downloaded ahead of time. You're going to need to have Odin downloaded. You're going to need to have that extracted on your computer. You're going to need to have the firmware for your device also extracted onto your computer. And you're going to need to have the USB drivers for Samsung installed on your computer. Now those USB drivers should automatically be installed since to install TWRP you need Odin to recognize the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Therefore you should also have Odin as well, but just in case you don't, you're, you're on a different computer or you have deleted it, I'm going to have links for all of that and sources for you to download a fresh copy of the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 firmware so that we can install it with Odin. Those are going to be, be all linked on my website. For those of you who are watching this video on YouTube, if you look under the video in the video description, there will be a link to my website. Click that link, go to my website, and you will find all of the download links and the entire step-by-step -step process for how to do this unbrick technique on the Galaxy Note 9 from Samsung. First thing we're going to need to do is boot into download mode. And just like with the download links, if you're not familiar with how to do any of this, again, go to my website. I break this whole tutorial down into complete individual step-by-step -step processes that make it very, very easy for virtually anybody to follow. So we're going to go ahead and boot the Galaxy Note 9 into download mode. And again, you should be familiar with how to do this if you have installed the TWRP or anything else. If you haven't, again, go to my website. It's all listed on my website. Once we are in download mode on the Galaxy Note 9, we are going to open up Odin on our computer. And then we're going to start loading up that firmware that we downloaded. So let's go ahead and shift focus to the computer. 
Since we have the Galaxy Note 9 connected to our computer with the USB cable, as soon as we open up Odin, we're going to see the indicator for COM, a specific COM port, and we're going to see that the phone has been added. Now if you did not see any, either of these, that means USB drivers are not installed properly. Just to show you that that's what this is, I'm going to unplug the USB cable. It's going to remove it from Odin, but then whenever I plug the USB cable back in, it's going to say it's been added and the COM port's going to be there again. So like I said, we're going to need to have Odin installed or downloaded and extracted. You're also going to need to have the firmware that you're going to install on the device and it's going to need to be extracted on your computer. You're going to see it's going to be coming in these five files. Now we're currently talking about the unbricking process. So this means that your, your Galaxy Note 9 is not booting up at all. It is going through a boot loop. So we're really only going to be focusing on these four files. And as you can see, each one of them has some letters at the start. A, P, B, L, C, P, and C, S, C that correlate with the different slots within Odin. I do want to remind you to make sure that you have downloaded the proper Samsung firmware for your device. For instance, if you have uh, the Snapdragon Galaxy Note 9, don't try to install the Exynos version. And if you have the AT&T version of the Galaxy Note 9, it's usually recommended that you download the AT&T version of the firmware. There are ways that you can switch up with the different carriers. You can go from a carrier version to a US Unlocked, but I'm not going to be covering that here today. This specific tutorial is just to show you how to unbrick the Galaxy Note 9. So, like I said, once we have the firmware downloaded and extracted, we have Odin open. We're going to click on the BL button. Then we're going to browse to and select the BL file. I go ahead and do the CP file next and then the CSC file last and I do that because these files are smaller in size because this AP file is a huge file it's four gigabytes that means as soon as we select it it's going to take some time for that file to load into Odin. You can see I have the spinning circle. Odin is going to say it is not responding. The amount of time it takes for Odin to load this four gigabyte file into the program will depend on how fast your computer is. For me it might take 30, 40, 60 seconds. For others it might take two, three, four minutes. Simply be patient, wait for Odin to load that big file in there. And this is what you want to look for. You want to make sure you have the files in the correct slot for the BL, AP, CP, and CSC slots. Once that's done, all we have to do is click on the start button then we're gonna see some progress on the left side we're gonna see that it is writing different 
bin files and image files to our device. Depending on how big these files are will depend on how long it takes for each one of these files to be not only uploaded to the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 over with the USB cable, but to also be written to that particular parti partition. Not only are we given a progress bar right here, And this is an overall progress bar. But we also get a progress bar on our Samsung Galaxy Note 9, which is right underneath the do not turn off target warning message. All we have to do right now is sit back and wait for Odin to do its thing. So we're just going to be patient during this process. You can see now we have switched from the system image to the vendor image. And again, you can even hold the mouse right on the line of that progress bar just to make sure that it is actually prog progressing. But as long as you have a stable connection from the Galaxy Note 9 to your PC with the USB cable, and you're not losing any power the progress will continue and we will finish with this unbrick method of restoring a stock Samsung firmware to the Galaxy Note 9 As this progress bar fills up, we're going to be giving a we're looking for a success message right here. If you're getting a specific error, then I can try to help, but your best bet is to just do a Google search. Um, but again, I'm always willing to help as much as I can. Once we get the success message. Our Samsung Galaxy Note 9 is going to reset. Okay, it's going to be a pass message. Now, once the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 has rebooted on its own, then I can suggest that you remove the USB cable from the Note 9 to the PC. As we have just done a full factory reset and we have just installed a fresh version of Samsung's Android firmware on the Galaxy Note 9, this first boot cycle is going to take a few minutes to complete. Not only does Android have to set stuff up, but Samsung Experience, that OEM ROM has to set up some files as well. So just like before with Odin, 
just be patient. This is one of the reasons why I make videos with these tutorials so you can not only follow along with my written instructions, but you can see that the tutorial I'm showing you actually works. And on top of that, you can see how long certain steps take so you do not get worried or paranoid that maybe you installed the wrong firmware or maybe you messed something up along the way. And there we have it. We have booted to the Android activation screen. I'm going to just go ahead and skip through a lot of this stuff just so you can see that the phone has booted properly and we have gotten past the boot loop and unbricked device. And now we are at a fresh install of Android. So as you can see, we are back to a fresh install of Android. All of our data has been wiped. This is a clean install of Android and Samsung experience. We have gotten past any boot loop issues and we have unbricked the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Thanks to Odin.